It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> he, well, I tell you what, you be the little boy okay, and I'll be right. Michael Caine okay, right. at the end of the Scrooge okay. movie. All right, right, all right. You ready? Yeah. Oi, little boy, what day is it? Why, it's Christmas Day, sir. <laughs> now, you're wrong. This is the day that I shag Miss Piggy. <laughs> Come here, Miss Piggy. I'd, I'd quite like to see that, sir. No, no, you... <laughs> We out of time? Oh, it's Christmas, man. <laughs> yeah, a little more. Can we just do one more for Christmas? <laughs> Can we just do one more? I wonder if I could possibly have a day off on Christmas Day. <laughs> could I have a day off on Christmas Day? My little boy, Jeff here, he's got to have an operation. <laughs> Please, sir, I'm so sick. He's very, he's very sick, sir. He's very sick. I've got to plug him into the wall, sir. And if I don't plug him into the wall, sir, the electricity will die away. The, the poor little blighters, his nuts will fall off. Isn't that right, little Jeff? Please, sir, only one of me arms. Oh, please, sir. Please. Please, if only we could have a day of all Christmas Day, sir. Oh, the other, the other thing is... <laughs> Because if you give us a day off on Christmas Day, sir, we'll, you can come round our house and stuff the goose. <laughs> In my pants. <laughs> And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. It was New Year's Eve, 1975. I was, I was in the middle of filming The Man Who Would Be King with Michael Caine. We had a bit too much champagne and we thought it would be funny if we stole one of the cameras. I won't say exactly what happened, but that night we filmed the movie The Man Who Would Be Having Sex With Another Man. Ah, there you are. <laughs> it was Christmas 2008. I was drinking on my roof when Santa landed with a sleigh. I was drunk and confused and... I'm ashamed of what I did next. But I did discover that I love reindeer jerky. It was Christmas 19... Christmas 1999. My... My greatest Christmas ever. And probably had something to do with my new invention. The mistletoe belt buckle. It was the hump day before Christmas, and all through L.A., everyone's asking, is Ferguson gay? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Uh, I'll do what. No, it was the hump day before Christmas. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm glad it's not snowing because we don't have a roof. <laughs> That's no kidding. I can still remember being a kid telling Santa all the stuff I wanted at Christmas. It didn't really matter. I got the same thing every year. Potato and a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> so, do you guys all live in the same house? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, yes? Who here is the meth supplier? <laughs> These are all my children. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Sir. <laughs> oh, yes! That was Christmas 2004. I spent the entire day at home surrounded by my family. I remember it because I made damn sure it was the last Christmas I got stuck home without a movie to escape to. <laughs> well, that's, that's not a memory, that's just <laughs> depression. That was Christmas 1962. It was cold and bitter and overcast, and that was inside my house. <laughs> My wife was angry because I slept with a department store Santa. <laughs> I 
What can I say? There's just something about a fat guy with a giant bag. <laughs> now, people often say to me, Sean, they say, Sean, what's your greatest Christmas memory? And I think, uh-uh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's it. <laughs> Oh, that shit, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that shit, daddy likes that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's usually why I say. I'm sure somebody out there thinks I'm a Scrooge because I don't love Christmas music. Come on, Craig, I can hear you say in your upbeat, perky voice. <laughs> into the holiday spirit. I've got plenty of holiday spirit. My front door is decorated with one of those giant novelty candy canes so within the car carolers arrive I've got something to beat them over the head. <laughs> we of Kraftwerk want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Ho? I think you mean ho ho ho. No, I mean you are a prostitute for the capitalistic corporate sponsored world. <laughs> Never before has anyone said anything so kind to me. I love you, Ralph. I love you, Florian. Hey, what am I, chop schnitzel? Oh, okay, come here. <laughs> Christmas. Anyway, the Charlie Brown Christmas special was made in 1965, and it still holds up. I don't know why, though, that the ABC uh, tried to update it. They wanted it to appeal to a modern audience. Jerks. Do we have a pi <laughs> That's right, jerks. Do we have a picture from the Charlie Brown special tonight? Look, they've updated it with all the other characters. Yeah. You get the bee bird, the honey boo boo's there. Look, look at this. Snooky's there. There's me as the creepy kid in the corner. Mr. Scrooge as various celebrities, Jeff. Oh, hell yeah. All right, then. All right. Um, I'll do Sean Connery as Mr. Scrooge. Yeah, this is good, yeah. You'll have to work on Christmas Day, Bob Cratchit. <laughs> that's good. All right. That's All right, good. who are you going to do? That's good. All right. That's good. All right. Uh, I'll do uh, uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman as Scrooge. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but your ass is going to work today. <laughs> Very good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bill Clinton as Mr. Scrooge. Bill Clinton as Mr. Scrooge, yes. I'd like to stuff bird. <laughs> and give you a little present. <laughs> the year was 1972. I decided to make my way to the North Pole to finally meet Santa Claus so I could punch him in the nuts for all the crap he gave me in 1971. <laughs> Here's my favorite excerpt. From the night before Christmas. <laughs> Away through the window I flew like a flash. Tore open the shutter and smoked me some hash. <laughs> Christmas 1968, I decided to surprise my kids by coming down the chimney dressed as Santa Claus. <laughs> the chute got caught in something and ripped completely off. And there I was, completely nude, in front of a terrified family. <laughs> And that's when I realised I wasn't even in my own house. <laughs> ah, Christmas minute. <laughs> anyway, I still haven't got a few people Christmas presents. Because <laughs> what? I don't know what you get, a gay robot skeleton with no genitals. Bulls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. A Christmas Carol popularised a lot of phrases, uh, Christmas phrases like Merry Christmas, that's from A Christmas yeah. Carol, uh, Scrooge, Bah Humbug, Diam. Is that, is that one? Yeah. That, that's one too, yeah, that's uh, Victorian Christmases, they used to go, Diam! Yeah, all right. Diam, it's Christmas! <laughs> never, never heard that. Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. yeah, no. Yeah, I like that. There was a Disney version of A Christmas Carol, which was great, except that Scrooge is played by a duck. And at the end, Scrooge McDuck shows up at the Cratchit house with a giant cooked bird. <laughs> That's cannibalism! Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, 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 can you do the duck noise? Sure, thing? sure. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> cannibalism. Then again, all bets are off when Scrooge's old partner was played by Goofy. No, oh, Hitler, better change your ways, bitch. Wow. I'll cut 
you. I'll cut you if you're not careful. He'll, oh, oh. He will cut you. He will cut you, Scrooge Mc... <laughs> anyway, not all of the Christmas Carol versions are good. Some are terrible, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger version was terrible. How did that one go again, Jeff? Hey, Timmy, you wouldn't be so tiny if you did push-ups, you Yeah, yeah, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming my testicle for Christmas. Uh, the annual warming of the testicle. Buddy. Yeah, that's what we do in our house. We gather around the testicle and sing a song for Christmas. What song do we sing, Jeff? Santa's got a bad foot. Santa's got a bad foot. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Santa's got a bad foot. He got a bad in there. <laughs> And that's how he fits down the chimney. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>